done in the past. And uh, normally we kind of get into the product and we kind of introduce it and explain it, but there's so many new products kind of going on now with the company. We wanted to just kind of get into just sharing some really interesting stories. So we wanted to invite on uh, different doctors that are that have been involved, using them in their practices and having real clinical uh, healings and actually, um, you know, they're able to show real uh, clinical evidence that this is working in their practices. It's helping people not just get well, it's, helping, it's actually healing them. So I want to just start off first just kind of sharing my story because, I know, I, I've seen so many and I see so many daily. It's so bizarre and it's so much fun because doctors are so shocked that this works so fast and it's so instant. And I've not seen anything like this in practice in 16 years of doing all the different things that I've seen. And so without further ado, I just want to explain my past history. I've been a chiropractor for uh, since 1998 in practice, um, and I've seen different things of healing that are very interesting, but this, this LifeWave uh, patch technology took our practice to a new level, and how we got involved was Dr. Jill, my business partner at the time, she was having some extremely serious health issues that we were not able to get get her to get well, and we were you know, thinking, all right, we're doing everything naturally, we're doing everything we're supposed to do, but yet we're not getting the results clinically, so what do we do? So we started trying everything medically, holistically, and nothing was working. And one of our patients started talking to us about um, Suzanne Summers and one of a one of her books she had just uh, put out that was called Eight Steps to Wellness um, and called Breakthrough. And so she's reading the book and different chapters or different doctors that are being interviewed about all the different types of new forms of holistic or um, non therapy or not non therapy non synthetic types of of uh, natural medicines and everything sounded good and we were trying different things as we were going through and nothing was really helping her. She was trying to bioidentical hormones, the stem cells, the, the different types of nutrition and the last chapter in the book was making really far out interesting claims about these non-transdermal patches, meaning nothing's going in your body. So we're like, well this sounds outrageous, but you know, we've tried everything else, why don't we try this? Because her big thing was, what if it worked? And that's the big mystery. What if it does work? You know, so we ordered these patches, not having a clue what we were doing with them. And we're sitting there looking at the little pamphlets, saying, okay, you put it here, you put it there. She had pain, she had no energy, she had issues from toxification, sleep, you know, you name it, she was having the problems with it. And so I'm literally wallpapering her with these things. And it looks like little band -aids. They look like a little sticker, okay? That's what they look like for those that are new to the call. And one by one, she, she said, I don't feel anything, I don't feel anything. I said, well, let's just leave them on because maybe we just wasted a bunch of money. And probably within about eight hours, I walk into her practice of the office where I'm on the different side of the office. She's telling me about, oh, somebody's got some background noise. All right, so she's standing there talking to me about the, the, the a patient, and she's looking like she's probably 20 years younger, having the energy of someone 20 years younger. And I'm sitting there like, are you feeling okay? And she says, I feel great. Let's go out. And normally she is in pain laying on the on the, the table, suffering just from, you know, the symptoms of fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, mental uh, words, losing words, and digestive issues. And it was like it was all gone. So we're sitting there like, okay, maybe this is a fluke, you know. And we kind of just chilled out that night, didn't do much after that. And the next day, she kind of wakes up, and she's looking at the ceiling, and she's starting to notice her eyesight got better. All the little floaters in her eyes just disappeared. So we're like, okay, something is totally happening here. We have no idea what this is doing, but we're so excited because she was just getting better. So within a week, 90% of her problems were gone. And everybody was sitting there in our practice going, what did you do? I said, I have no idea, but put these on and let me know what you feel. And so we started putting these little stickers, patches on everybody. And one by one, patients were coming back with other people that were not our patients wanting to get these because they were getting healings, real healings. And so 
they were coming in from everywhere and we were just selling these things like crazy so this is the start of how we got really personally involved with the company and how we integrated into our practice and how we started sharing it with other doctors and other practitioners saying this will increase your clinical outcomes this will help you get the results that you're getting it's kind of the missing piece that we saw to the puzzle of your sort of health care that you're looking for so for me, I think that was probably my biggest, exciting, most dramatic healing uh, testimony that I wanted to share because I've shared it so many times and it's been so long, I just wanted to bring it back up for people that have not heard it. That was why we got involved. We got involved. So, we got some background noise. Just wanted to hit the four star little power Anyway, somebody's got some background noise with the phone ringing, so hit four star, that will mute you out. So if, um, I would like to introduce a few other doctors that I invited on the call tonight, and I first have uh, Dr. Uh, Mark Portacase, and he's a naturopath up in Michigan, and Mark, he's been involved here for a little while. So Mark, if you just hit the, the four star, you'll unmute. And uh, if you want to just share kind of what you've seen that you've been involved with, what, you know, what's your most exciting changes you've seen with your patient or yourself, whatever you like to share, go ahead. Absolutely. First of all, I, I just have to say that I have yet to see these patches not work. Second of all, I have to say it's so simple, it's unbelievable. So don't overthink the patching. It's very simple to do. But here's, here's two things that's happened. Uh, one, uh, recently I was with a gentleman who had his both ankles, he was in a car accident, and they were completely crushed. And he literally has hundreds of pins in his ankles. And he isn't able to work uh, because he can't stand up any longer in like five, ten minutes because there's so much pressure and pain. And he's getting hormone shots all the time, or cortisone shots all the time. And he's, uh, his sister's the one that actually introduced me to him. His sister's a patient of mine. And uh, she said, you know, do you think there's anything you can do for my brother? And I said, I don't know, but we can try. So I went to see him, and of course, you know, it's, it's like Nicholas was explaining. It looks just like a little Band-Aid. And he says, well, I don't know how this is going to work. And I said, well, I'm not sure if it's going to, but let's give it a try. So within literally, oh, gosh, 10 seconds, and he's been in pain for 19 years, 100% gone. He got cherry-eyed, and uh, it's just unbelievable. But, but I see that all the time. One of the other big things is, this is for me, and, and the story I just told you, that happens all the time. Um, there are phenomenal patches. But with me, and I'll do this real quick because I know we have to get going on this call, uh, I went in for my yearly checkup with my doctor, and uh, Chuck told me, he says, hey, uh, we got some issues here. I said, what's that? He says, your PSA came back. This is for my prostate. He says, it came back at 10.7. He says, I want to send you to a urologist. He says, we need to uh, do a biopsy and get this taken care of right away. I said, well, I'll go see the urologist. I said, but I'm not sure if I, I want to do a biopsy. For me, anyways, because uh, I just didn't want to see a needle getting put into, in my opinion, um, a man's very important organ. So I went and saw the urologist, and uh, he also wanted to do a, a biopsy. And I said, well, give me 30 days. Let's see what happens. And so the first 30 days, I dropped one-tenth of a point. So I went from 10.7 to 10.6, but it, it's going down. Not that it was a big jump, but it went down quite a bit. And uh, during this time, I keep hearing a lot of different people on our Thursday night calls talking about um, her essentials. And one person in particular was saying how it helped one of her patients with prostate cancer. So I thought, you know what, I have nothing to, to lose. And, and me, I'm, I was what I guess what you'd call old school because I love the patches and the glutathione. But anyways, I started on the Crescentials. My first month I did it, and I didn't really feel anything. And I thought, gosh, you know, I'm not feeling anything. It can't be working. And I was going to quit taking it. And I called uh, Dr. Nicholas up, and I said, look, hey, Doc, I don't think it's doing anything for me. And he says, you know what? He says, sometimes you may not feel it working because this is going to go where it needs to go. And, you know, you only have three more weeks to go here to get your blood test done again. Let's just keep 
doing this. So I said, okay. I kept doing that, and I, I got my blood test done. And I went from, uh, now I'm down one-tenth of a point. Remember, I started at 10.7, and I was at 10.6. I dropped all the way to a 7.0. That's a huge jump. And uh, I got another blood test coming up here again in another month. We're going to see where we're at. But the percentiles, oh, and the best part is not that it's just dropping my PSA numbers and saved me from getting uh, a biopsy. My um, total cholesterol was real high. I was at like 280, and I, I'm back way under uh, 200. My um, blood pressure, I, when I had it checked, I was 180 over 90, which is quite high. And when I got the done, with my, my blood test, it came back. I was at uh, 125 over 75. I, it just totally, and I didn't think it was doing anything for my body, and it was just totally correcting everything. It was just, it, it's unbelievable. And once again, I didn't feel anything happening, but the proof is in the pudding. I, I mean, I actually have the blood work, the paperwork, everything, and that's what it's done for me. I mean, the products, and I said this before, they truly are not products, they're gifts. And we need to share this with everybody because everybody knows somebody who has some type of a pain. And let me tell you, we have a patch for it. And they work so easy. You don't need to be a doctor to do these patches. If you know how to show somebody how to drink a little glass of water and the point where their pain is, you're going to help these people unbelievable. And the more you patch, the more stories go out there. The biggest thing is the more you patch, more people come to you. You want your business to grow? Take them out of pain. It's real easy to do. And that's it. Thanks, Dr. Mark. I appreciate you coming on and doing that. I know you're a busy guy, too. And that's the thing. We've been trying to do this call now for three weeks, and we've had so many different issues with trying to get this call set up. I have different docs coming on, so I'm still waiting for a few other docs. But I wanted to share my, uh, another quick story that was something that I had to call David Schmidt on to advise me on because I have a, a, a dear friend. He's a doctor in San Diego that had been suffering. He's been now diagnosed with with um, a stage four cancer, and now we're not treating or diagnosing with the, the patches or any of the, the LifeFlight products, and I just asked how can we help him because he is in the, in the intensive care unit and he's um, he has a, a throat condition where he was not able to stop this bleeding issue and it was severe, and he said, okay, here's what I would recommend trying, and he said put four of the tan patches around the area of his throat. So literally I said, okay, put these on. I was telling his girlfriend how to put them on his neck and, um, and then feel the tips. Each finger, you're feeling, you know, you're pinching the, the, the pinky finger, you're going through each finger until you find the one that's the most tender. And then that's where you're going to put the ice wave white patch on the fingertip and um, see what happens. And see what he was explaining is the tan patches have a sedative effect and they couldn't get this bleeding under control. And so he's sitting in the living room, choking to death on um, his you know, body, just you know, dumping fluid. So within probably a minute, David Schmidt, he, he, you know, he texts me back and goes, what's happening? And I'm like, really, this quick? And here I am thinking, all right, I should know better. So I text his girlfriend back, and she's in the ICU, and she says, holy cow, he's breathing better. It stopped. And then it completely stopped from that, that moment on. So it took probably three minutes for him to really notice the physical changes to literally stop the bleeding and kind of get things to um, stabilize, you know. And uh, what's that? And, the, and the, the, the fingertip part was for the cough because he was coughing so severely and then they couldn't get the, the, the blood in his throat to actually, you know, coagulate enough to stop and clot. And so the, the combination of what he did just really, it stopped everything. And it, it just, I mean, it was a miracle. I mean, we see this over and over and over. But that was probably, you know, the most recent thing that just happened, which was last weekend. And um, he's doing much better now and, you know, dealing with his issues that he has, but that at least got him out of a crisis situation, which is pretty amazing. So 
Um, I wanted to see if I have Dr. Ken on the call. If Ken, if you're on the call, I wasn't sure if you were able to make it or not. Just hit the four and the star to unmute if you're if you're muted. And if not, I was actually going to call on a few other people, but I wanted to see first if you made it on. So, uh, Dr. Ken, are you there? We definitely started with this new number, so maybe there's some issues with that. But if not, I wanted to go ahead and call on a few other people that are not doctors that are in uh, doctor's practice. So I was going to call upon Darla Reed. She is the sister of Dr. Dennis Cathcart. And uh, Dennis has been in, uh, involved for five years now. And Darla works in his office and impatches a lot of his patients. So Darla, um, if you want to share, I think you had a really good story or just recently. I'm going to unmute you and or you can hit four star that will unmute you and you can share kind of what just happened recently. I thought that would be a good story to tell. Can you hear me? I sure can. Go ahead. Hello. Okay. Sorry, I'm driving right now, so I hope um, there's not a lot of um, background noise. Come on, loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay, great. I'll tell a couple quick stories. Um, one where it was outside of the office where a friend of mine, um, I found out that she had sciatic pain. So when I got to her house to, I was ready to take her pain away, um, she said she was going to another chiropractor. She was also under a medical doctor's care. She was also under a pain specialist care. Um, she had also originally gone to urgent care. <laughs> so that's four doctors. And so, and she was on Percocet and she was um, starting a steroid program. So I said, okay, so where's your pain now? And she said, 10. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're on all this medication? And she said, it just barely has taken the sharpness away. So I said, okay. And I put the tan patch um, over her sacral area. Um, where it was the strongest pain. And then I put the white ice wave patch on her um, calf, where the pain went down to her calf. So I just put the white patch right there. And I said, just, you know, walk around maybe, do whatever you would do, you know, to make it hurt. Um, but it, it only took like a few seconds and she started going, it's, it's, it's. And I'm like, what are you feeling? What's going on? <laughs> and she said, it's gone. She had no pain. So with all that medication, all those doctors, and these two patches, only the ice wave patch took her pain down to zero in three seconds. That's huge. That's incredible. That's why I asked you to come on tonight. So <laughs> that's amazing. That's always that's, over I was, and over I mean, and I over. Still on. I would want to, okay. Um, another story that I just, got from a doctor in Mexico um, that was pretty incredible. He said um, somebody under his care had gotten knee surgery and was on medication and um, like two different types of medication. And then he was still in pain, so he decided he was going to smoke some marijuana. And only just with one puff, he started having horrible reactions. His heart was racing. He, he was having tremors. Um, the doctor listed quite a few things, you know, that he was reacting. So he came to the doctor. He put him on a heart monitor. And he put a glutathione patch on. It totally brought his heart rate down dramatically, um, like within 10 seconds. And then his heart rate went back up again, and he changed the acupressure point, put it on another spot, and then it brought it back down again. And then he said within about 10 minutes it took, he didn't have any symptoms at all. And he really felt like he was going to lose him. Like he, he, he said in the email, this patient was going to die. <laughs> he could have died. <laughs> so a glutathione patch did that. Wow. Wow. That's that's the power in these and why we talk about this over and over and over about the, the power of the simplicity of them. And it's almost like it said, it sounds too good to be true, Darla. And I, I know the doctor you're talking about. I met him at the A4M and the Anti-Aging Conference. And um, that's mm -hmm. just, it's amazing. So thank you for sharing that. And
and patching everybody you guys run into. It's amazing. So good job. Thanks. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Love it. <laughs> you bet. All right. Well, I wanted to ask, um, I have another uh, doctor on the line that I didn't get to ask to come on, but I'm going to throw her uh, right up front, and I was going to ask Dr. Q, you've been an inspiration to so many of us, and you've been on this product and involved for a long time and taught a lot of people a lot of different things. So if you don't mind sharing one of your amazing stories, which I'm sure you have like hundreds, maybe thousands, uh, Dr. Q, I unmuted you, so please give us one of your most enlightening stories, if you don't mind sharing. Well, gee, I guess I'll have to uh, think quick here. I wasn't prepared for this, but... I shouldn't have to think too hard. You probably had one today. No, I do so many every day. Um, one of the most interesting things that I've been doing a lot of lately is what I call brain patching. And it usually is the last thing I go for unless the person has particular symptoms that are brain associated. And um, there's this young man that had uh, 13 years old, got kicked by a horse, immediately comatose, rushed to the hospital, brain surgery, lost part of his brain in that surgery because they couldn't uh, repair it. It was too badly damaged. So he came out of surgery very different, uh, and he had a lot of, of physical um, uh, head bobbing and line muted of his arms, and he could line unmuted or repeat a phrase that they were telling him. So he had five weeks in line muted. As soon as he got out, we had his mother prepared with patches, and over the phone, we patched him up. Under our direction, she put the patches and she took movies of it. And what it was is the common phrase that speech therapists give you, you know, the sly brown uh, fox jumped over the lazy dog, something like that. And he couldn't say it, much less could he read it. And so she did it before, and then we put the patches on, uh, just used ice wave on the side of the brain where the injury was in the area of the brain where motor and speech is, and turned the camera back on, and bang, he did it 90% correct. So that was like in less than five minutes. He since then has gone back to school, this is a year ago, back to school and is uh, pretty normal. He, he, his mother was very, very worried about him going to school with those disabilities. He had a lot of head bobbing and so on that stopped along with the speech changes. So we're doing a lot of this with motor movements, people that have had a bleeding accident or something in their brain, and we're seeing very rapid uh, uh, changes in the symptoms. Back to you. So thanks, Coyle. Thank you, Dr. Q. That's what that's what we're talking about. It's real healing. It's not just a symptom relief, and it's so instantaneous. That's what we're seeing more times than not. And I usually, when I recommend these to anyone, I tell them, you want to try them, you want to try a combination for at least a month to see the fair healing changes. You know, I sort of like want them to um, undersell it sort of and let it over deliver so they can really see the value in it because more times or not they're going to get big massive healing changes and it happens over and over but these are the kind of stories that we're seeing from different practitioners and doctors so Dr. Q thank you so much for sharing that that was amazing and um, again we've seen that over and over so those of that are new to the call um, you're really going to want to look at this more intensely and talk to different practitioners uh, different therapists and different friends and family that it's just something you're really going to want to investigate a little bit more and give it a, a fair try. I think that's what I find more than not. People are not seeing the value in it over a period of time that the healings take place faster if you're using combinations and using it over that time frame. So, Kai, I was going to throw it back to you and see if you had anything else you wanted to add to that and um, kind of wrap the call up. 
My pleasure, Dr. Nicholas. And gosh, I want to thank everybody, um, especially Darla and Dr. Mark and Dr. Nicholas and Dr. Q. Wonderful to hear some stories from you. What a profound story of getting hit in the head by a horse. And I remember, Dr. Nicholas, you had a wonderful story over there. I think it was in Kansas with a, a person that couldn't even write his name. <laughs> and putting you, you did the, the CAP protocol. <laughs> and uh, it, it was just, there's so many amazing stories about the patches. And what I'd like to share with everyone is, you know, I'm not a doctor. Unlike the esteemed people you've heard from today, I'm just a regular guy out here uh, out on a little island in the middle of the ocean. And these products are really profound, and they've been life-changing, especially this latest one. I mean, I mean, it's just almost like kind of waiting for, like, I don't know if you watch certain TV series that you'll, you know, you're just really into, like Game of Thrones or something, and the next season, you know, you can't wait for it to start. Well, David Schmidt is kind of like that. It's like every year we get this amazing new product. And um, the Maverick product I, I would like to speak just briefly about is, uh, for me, it's been incredibly life-changing and profound. Um, I'm 61, and my libido is kind of kind of going down a little bit and I, I am a breast cancer survivor and I'm very sensitive to estrogen particularly. I can't have any kind of increase of estrogen in my system because uh, it can stimulate the, the reenactment of cancer kind of taking root and hold. So I've avoided a lot of things to try to, you know, work with that on, on supplements and support. But with the Maverick product and the way that Dr. Nicholas has so wonderfully explained on some of these calls about how um, some of those um, hormones are trans uh, translated into estradiol when you take, like, the testron. And um, the Maverick deals with that. And it's like a super intelligent supplement. Uh, it, it stops the process of, of um, things being converted into estradiol. And for me, that was life-changing. And so now I'm getting to really enjoy some of the modern things of where you can really have more libido and, and, and more energy that way in your life as you get older. And, uh, it's it's a life changing product, and and so you know what what's next year going to be, with, uh, David? When he comes out with, we're we're kind of hooked into kind of a genius channel here, and uh, we get to build a business around it, share it with people, really have products that are unique you can't find anywhere else. Almost all the products are life changing and totally unique, and so easy to share with people, and uh, really make a difference in their life and your life. So you know. You're in the right place at the right time. And my suggestion is, you know, get back to the person who referred you to this call if you're new and you haven't tried some of these products. Uh, try them. They actually come with, you know, money-back guarantees, too, for 30 days. So you can just try it and see how it works for you. And, again, I just really want to thank Darla and Dr. Mark and Dr. Nicholas and Dr. Q for sharing such incredible stories and wisdom with everybody today. And, and for your time, I know your time is really valuable and being on this call. And so, you know, get back with the person that shared this with you. And, um, We'll be here next week sharing many more stories, and uh, this call is officially over. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Conference recording stopped.